Smoking large cuts of meat is pretty straightforward because you have to take lots of time to get a balanced level of smoke into the meat. But what happens when you want to smoke a small piece of meat, even tiny, like chicken wings? Well, you call in a professional, like Christy, who actually competes on barbecue circuits, right? I do. Yes, I do, <laughs> yes, I do. But it's no competition today. Okay. We work together. You're so right. Cooking over wood smoke is about low and slow to give meat time to absorb that flavor and cook evenly and render fat. So these are all important things. Sure. The problem with chicken wings is that while they have lots of skin and lots of fat, they're actually mostly white meat. You really need to help that white meat out to stay moist. Okay. So we're going to take care of that, but first let's talk about flavor. All right. We're starting with some very classic traditional flavors in this barbecue rub. A little heat, a little sweet, some earthiness. So I'm starting with two teaspoons of paprika, two teaspoons of chili powder, one and a quarter teaspoons of dried oregano, one and a quarter teaspoons of garlic powder, and one and a quarter teaspoons of pepper. Also a teaspoon of sugar. I said a little sweet and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne for a little, a little heat. heat. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna stir this together. Super simple, but that's the first way that we'll flavor the chicken wings. All right. Now I am going to take out one tablespoon and set it aside for later. Now we're gonna start with the brine. Okay. So I have two quarts of cold water and to that I'm going to add a quarter cup of sugar and a quarter cup of table salt. Okay. Obviously that's going to flavor the chicken wings somewhat, but really it's gonna help it hold on to those juices while it cooks. Great. Okay, just to dissolve. Now we can move on to the wings. So I have three pounds of chicken wings here, and I've already prepped most of them. So we're gonna cut off the wing tip and discard that because there's really no meat on there and it's just gonna burn. And then we'll separate the drumette from the flat. If you have to hack at it a lot, you're just not in the right space. You're not over the joint. Right. So there we go. Now they're gonna go into the brine. Now I have a piece of plastic wrap here. So we're just gonna cover these tightly and then get them in the refrigerator for at least an hour or up to three hours. We are going to focus on our sauce. So I have four tablespoons of unsalted butter that I've melted in my small saucepan over medium low heat. Now we set aside that tablespoon of the dry right, rub right. and I'm going to add it now because we wanna bloom it in the butter. And we just want to cook this for about 30 seconds. Gotcha. The second ingredient is two tablespoons of cider vinegar. We just wanted to add a little tanginess. So we just want to let this come to a little bit of a simmer. It's already starting to bubble around the edges. All right, I'm going to remove it from the heat. Now I'll add some ketchup. This is two tablespoons and a quarter teaspoon of salt. So I'm just going to cover it and we'll set it aside and we'll heat it back up before we're ready to serve. All right, sounds great. So now let's get back to the chicken wings. So they were in the refrigerator for about two hours. I've already patted them dry on one side. I'm just gonna pat them on this side. Now I'll sprinkle the rest of the spice rub. We'll put half on one side and then we'll flip the wings over and get the other half on the other side. All right. I think we're ready to grill. Sounds good. Bridget, I'm getting the grill all set up. I've opened the bottom vent all the way. Okay. You get lots of air in there. And I've lit a large chimney that I've mounted with charcoal briquettes, seven quarts. Before we put that all together, let's make the wood chip packet. Because these are smoked wings. Right. Right. So I have two cups of hickory chips, and I've soaked those for about 15 minutes just to get them saturated so that we can control the burn and the release of the smoke. We want smoke over a long period of time, not all at once at the beginning. Right. So I'm looking for about an eight by four and a half rectangle. Mm -hmm. So I'll fold this over. I do want some way to release some of that smoke. Right. So I'm going to cut two two inch long slits evenly spaced across right. the packet. Okay. So we are ready. My briquettes are good. We just want to see them partially covered with ash. Okay. So I'm going to place the wood chip packet on one side of the grill. And now I'm going to pour all of my coals over that side of the grill, directly over the wood chip packet. Okay, now we'll put the grate on top and we'll cover it. And then just make sure that the vent on top is all the way open also. We'll let these grill grates heat for about five minutes just okay. to get nice and hot. 
It's been about five minutes and we know that everything's getting hot in here because we can see the smoke coming out. So now I'm gonna get this thing cleaned up and then we can start on the chicken. All right. We'll just clean this with the grill brush. Okay, now we'll oil the grill. So I have the flats and the drumettes. Right. We're going to start with the flats and we'll put these on the cooler side of the grill as far away from the flame as possible. Okay. With the fat side up. Okay, now I have the drumettes and we'll put these ahead of the flats. Now, the reason is the drumettes have a lot of meat. So I'm putting these with the bone towards the flame. I'm gonna put my lid on top. Now, we're gonna let these go for a while, about 40 minutes. We're looking for them to be nice and dark and a temperature of about 180 degrees. Okay. So 40 minutes, but I'm going to come in about halfway and flip them all over. Okay. We're almost done. All right. <laughs> Let's see those smoky wings. Ooh, Look at they're this. beautiful. Yes, these were 40 minutes covered. Mm. I did come and flip them halfway through. Okay. So I am going to tempt them. We're looking for about 180 degrees. Right there, looks good. Now we want to get some good spotty char on these, but I'm only going to move the drumettes over. All right. So we'll just let these go uncovered this time. Okay. About a minute to three minutes on each side. Okay. And we're just looking for some nice spotty browning. Ooh, Ooh. see? Yes. It doesn't take very long. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so we have some nice charring on both sides. Beautiful. So I'm going to move the flats over to the hot side, if you wouldn't mind, just tending it lightly okay. with the foil. So now we'll just cook this half over the hot side for about one to three minutes on each side till they're nice and charred. Bridget, I've just heated up the sauce over medium heat for about two minutes. I wanted to loosen it just a little bit and make sure that it wasn't cold when we tossed it with the chicken. Gotcha, okay. So now I'm gonna transfer it to a big bowl because we're gonna toss all those chicken wings in this. Now we'll take our wings. The sauce is really gonna take them to another level. So you can see it's not really thick, it just kind of it's a glaze gives us a nice glaze on the wings. All right, there you Thank go. you very much. Sure. Oh, those are beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna take a guess. You are such a flat girl. 100% a flat person, <laughs> yeah. Do you even wanna try a drumette? Yes, of okay. course. Okay, all right. You know, people <laughs> fall into one of the two camps, okay. and I gotta say, I kinda, I like the drummies. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, good, then there's plenty for both of them. <laughs> it's that little bit of meat right in between those two bones on the flats, it's just perfection. Mm. Mm. It's such good smokiness. Perfect amount of smokiness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not just on the outside. It's actually permeated into the meat, but just enough. And the sauce, the flavors just balance really nicely. I, I feel like I taste chicken, I taste smoke, and I get the other flavors, mm. but they don't overpower it. Well, it takes a champ to make a winner like this. <laughs> Thanks, champ. <laughs> you can be a champion at home, too, with these great wings. And it starts with the brine. Make a spice mixture and cook some of the mixture with butter and vinegar, stirring ketchup, and then sprinkle the wings with the remaining spices. Pour hot coals over a wood chip packet, then smoke the wings over the cooler side of the grill. Char the wings over the hot side for a moment, toss with the sauce, and serve. So from Cook's Country, a champion of a recipe, smoked chicken wings. And you can get this recipe and all the recipes from this season, along with tastings, testings, and select episodes on our website cookscountry.com slash TV. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>